Okay, what is up, y'all? This is Big Switch from Banish for Cost here, and today, what do you think we have? Another deck profile. This is a special one. I actually got first place in a Winamat with this lovely deck. Um, the deck in question is indeed Fire King Liralisk. <laughs> So, uh, KFC, if you will, the new KFC with no Kuraz. Um, the new KFC, this deck was really fun to pilot. I took this to the Oklahoma City Regionals. I, my record was X11. I signed up for the side event, the Winamat. I was about to get a draw, making me X12. It was round five. I was like, okay, I could either win it out and maybe get a top. Well, and definitely get a top. Or I could do the side event and win a mat. So I gave my opponent the win, dropped out of the tourney, joined the side event, and won out. And I uh, had some fun at the regional. So with that, here's the deck. It performed really well, like, like shockingly well. Um, I almost can't believe that I did so well with this. Uh, again, uh, Winamats are single elimination, so I just won out, and here's the deck list. Um, we got three Ponix. It is your level one winged beast. That's kind of the point of the deck, so that's cool. We have two Arvada. That is your monster negate. We call this our interruption. Um, we have three Kirin. Uh, it's Kieran, makes your grind game go burr. Two Garunix, it's uh, your main enabler to do cool stuff. Two Sanctuary onto the spells, two Fire King Island. Yes, I'm doing the OTS supers. Yes, I'm really pissed off that Rarity Collection reprinted this. Um, because of the, we finally get the supers and then they hit us with the freaking Rarity Collection and I'm like, bruh, nice. Uh, we got one each, uh, one Fire King Circle and one Skyburn. Uh, this actually comes up for some combos where you like you need the Arvada just for the extra body. You need to pop the Arvada rather. Sometimes you don't use Garunix just so you, you can use this to trigger. Uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty common search. You, either one of these, uh, this also single-handedly won me a, one of the games, so that was cool. Uh, my last game actually, like of the event, literally. Uh, for that, we're on to the Liralisk engine. Hilarious. Um, this one, I'm not super sure about the ratios about my... This is all hand-built, all crafted for my little dark, twisted fantasy. Um, the the Liralisk stuff, I'm not sure about the ratios. It's a little bricky, not gonna lie. Because uh, we're on three turquoise, which I know that's good. Two cobalt, I'm pretty iffy on. Two sapphire, I'm even more iffy on. Um... This is online if you have Garunix, so that's kind of cool. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it is it is cool, but I'm kind of, like I said, kind of iffy on it. For that, we got Two Barrel Canary. Uh, one of the best cards in the engine, if not the best. And the last minute edition that actually came up a lot was Celestine Wagtail. Uh, searching our one, two, three bird call. Uh, yeah, you, you need the extra body. Uh, to search uh, if you're doing the F0 line you really need your extra body and Celestine is perfect for it uh, One for one is the last of the engines so to speak so that's about uh, 30 cards of actual engine for you uh, Pretty solid honestly. I'm, I'm a fan of those ratios for the non engine. It's just a three ash No, uh, we will this channel will not be a mole charmy channel uh, <laughs> I need to pay my property taxes, <laughs> and uh, Volcharmies are not in them. Uh, in fact, I'll probably sell a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh to get there, so we'll see. Uh, three Ash, three Droll, one call by, three Imperm. Like I said, 10, 30. Pretty tight, nice and tight. Um, I can dig it. Like, the deck's pretty easy, to be honest. I think that's what carried me, because I built this together pretty shortly before the regional and I got no in-person testing. My first in-person testing was round one, which I won. Uh, round two, I won. Then I got a draw, loss, draw, drop. So, 
um, yeah, there's the there's the deck. Uh, I'll do a, a couple test hands real quick. It's been a while since. Uh, it's been eight days or seven days since I last piloted this, and uh, in that time I've been very sick. Uh, we've got over it. Th two days on antibiotics, we're all good. But um, yeah, yeah, very very sick. Uh, with the the streps. So with that, we'll get into a little test handage. Um, no worries. After, of course, I show you the extra deck. Uh, extra is pretty simple. I guess I completely forgot. Again, getting over a bit of an illness here. Two recital. This was a last minute cut down to two. This was on three, but um, it kind of comes up in the grind. But I think two is fine. Just because you play one assembled and one ensemble blue, two is fine. And we're on to because of Fuko. I, I realized, what am I doing if I get shiftered exactly? Uh, this is what I'm doing if I get shiftered. And it was fine. It was really good. People uh, forget to attack over this all the time. Like, it's insane how often people just will leave Fuko on board. It's very funny. So, um, you just get a free Zeus. But, uh, yeah, it was cool. Cool. Uh, I liked it. Actually came up a lot. Uh, after that, we got one Hyang, Gurunix Eternity. Um, it's part of your end board. I made it actually a ton. Uh, one Zeus. It's uh, you're, you're playing this, so you play this. No downer is a bummer, but you really have zero space in this deck. Like, legitimately have zero extra deck space. This is I went through every single card multiple, multiple, multiple times in this event. So, perfect extra deck as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but yeah, we got one Zeus, uh, the F Zero package. Uh, yes, I'm not on the the original CR, not the stupid QCR. Oh, I hate what they've done to my boys. Uh, moving on to the link, uh, it's fine though. It's kind of uh, <laughs> it's kind of rare that you really, really, really get to pull this off. It's just a nice a nice pivot to have if you get an early Xyz lock uh, to be able to go into. So. Uh, we got our one Almirage, turn any Leerlisk into a Fire King, just like that, uh, or Hand Trap. Uh, IP, SP, that's part of your end board. Part of your end board sometimes is a Hita. Part of your end board Promethean Princess, part of your end board Amblo. So as you may have noticed, there's literally nothing that can be cut from here. Like, Fuko is the only cuttable, and I don't even like cutting that. Just like I said, as a, conting a contingency against Shifter. Um, yeah, so with that, we'll knock the side deck out, which I didn't really uh, craft that much. Uh, Duster, Double Lightning Storm, Triple Cosmic, just for back row sides, for going second against uh, monsters. We got Dark Hole, Dark Ruler, this is for uh, Mimigul and Combo. Uh, I literally did this against uh, Manadium, and he the whole board went away. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, Dark Ruler, just you don't need to kill with this deck. Uh, you accrue so many interruptions that if you just break their board, uh, you just Zeus and then start playing. It's so good. It's like so so good. So uh, I, I feel really good about all these sides. I didn't really go in, up against many back row decks to begin anyway. So. But uh, Cosmic came up, everything came up. Like, literally everything in this deck came up. Especially the Harpy's Feather Storm in the side. This is my favorite little bit of this deck. I wanted to play Thrust for this regional just to search Storm, but I couldn't find him in time. This card was very annoying. This card single-handedly won me a few games. Because the thing with Flunder is they'll sit on, like, an okay board with, with Feather Storm. In this deck, you end on like five, six interruptions and a Harpy's Feather Storm. <laughs> it's really annoying. It's like turbo annoying. So, um, but of course, if you brick, you got this. Uh, certain situations, you know, it's just really good. Uh, it is not a game winner, though. I did lose a game through double Harpy's Feather Storm. Believe it or not. <laughs> so, you can brick. You can brick. And speaking of which, let's see if we'll brick right now getting into the test hand portion of the video.
I want to do like a, like a legit test hand. One, two, three, four, five. The here's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now this is a hand I can understand. So I'm actually going to start off here. There's a lot to digest here. If this is a turquoise warbler, I would be geeked right now. Okay. So what we'll go ahead and lead with is I think we're leading Ponyx. See, if you get this stopped, you're kind of, it's kind of over for you. Um, I'll tell you what. Do we do it anyway? Just for the content? For the content, we'll do it anyway. We'll uh, normal that, activate. There's other lines you can do, like you could normal the Cobalt and at the end of the combo, you use Barrel to search Cobalt, then Cobalt effect, but it's fine. Um, we'll, we'll be super greedy here. So here, of course, we will search Sanctuary. Uh, we have a level one winged beast, so we can use this bad boy. But I think what we'll do is we'll special Celestine with a uh, Sapphire. So we'll activate Sapphire in hand, special these two. Uh, activate Celestine, add bird call. Do, 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 bird call. Very nice, very nice. Let's overlay for our recital. Activate. Searching us out a level one winged beast. Now here what we'll do is search turquoise warbler. We can then use bird call, searching our barrel canary, specialing a non-barrel canary from hand, being the turquoise warbler. When that's special from hand, you can activate to special one from hand. So we'll activate specialing cobalt, activate cobalt search a level one winged beast here it's up to you what we search i think i'll just search another ponix um i don't play dd crow i don't think it's good enough to play to be honest uh here we have two options we can do the play around nib option where um we just make an f0 but i don't think we have the bodies for it actually like we do currently um i think our options now are do we want ensemble blue or do we want f0 so I'm going to go for the uh, the F0 line. Uh, let's go Sanctuary effect. There we go. We'll go Fire King Island effect. We'll search out a Garunix uh, by popping this guy. Special. No, we'll pop a Ponix, sorry. Pop Ponix special. Garunix effect normally we would be popping arvada but since we already have arvada we'll pop kieran activate kieran special arvada and then start to go into these lines so go into our ip princess activate princess you can bring any of them back doesn't really matter so bring back ponix link off for amblo all while we have the monster negate up. Then here, since we left up our recital, we can activate barrel. Special that, and we'll get... Since we're making F0, it doesn't really matter what we special. Uh, we will, however, make another recital. Activate recital to search for some follow-up. We'll get another barrel just for follow-up. Pop these guys off. Make our F0 and our UDF. Boom, boom. And that's our end board. Uh, it doesn't look like a ton. Uh, you know, <laughs> pretty much just three guys, two in hand. Nothing's happening in the standby. You know, we linked off the Ponics, so it's like literally nothing. So we'll, we'll pass on to them. I'll go draw. Stay in my main. Cool. Activate a monster effect. Cool. Arvada effect. Pop and blow. Time to do a billion chain links. Um, we'll go chain link one Garunix engrave. Chain link two Amblo. So Amblo is going to special IP. Garunix is specialing himself. Uh, we did not destroy with Arvada. 
Oh uh, yeah, uh, we do not destroy their their card with Arvada, so their card's still on the field. We'll activate Garunix, popping uh, Kieran. Kieran effect, specialing Ponix, popping the monster that they activated. We can then on a new chain activate Ponix to search some follow up. I think I am just going to ensure we have lethal with Circle. Uh, now, a few different things that happen here. If we can figure out some way to get Arvada popped, this will float into Kirin, allowing us to Sanctuary. Outside of that, we have our IP to go with Garunix into an SP. So that was one interruption, uh, pop, two interruption, three interruption, four interruption, Five interruption with F zero, and oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. I'm sorry. We'll link. Say we link this off, and we still have that. Obviously, we also have Princess. So Princess, if they special pop Arvada, special pop their guy. We'll go Arvada effect special Kieran. They summon again. Cool. Activate Sanctuary. Make interruption number seven. Um, activate Garunix, blow the board. Uh, this can't be destroyed by card effects. Uh, so you just maintain a ton of board presence. Uh, again, this could have been an Ensemble Blue, uh, alternatively. And that's your hand. That's everything after seven, eight interruptions. And this guy comes back. Draw. You just kill. You just activate, pop, search anything, Kieran or whatever. Maybe Arvada, activate, special, normal, game, oh, activate, but yeah, kill, you know, not lethal, cool, activate, pop, special, kill, like, so much, so much stuff, so much happenings, that I think is going to be the best example of what the deck can really, really do, that's like the end goal. Um, you rarely want to end on F0 and on Som Blue. You would need the exact amount of bodies. Like, I've labbed it out to the point where you need exactly the amount of bodies, either Arvada, Amblo, F0, or Arvada, Amblo, Ensemble Blue, Robin. So it's one of these as your end board, plus Amblo, Arvada. That's your end board, and that is infinite interruptions. It's pretty good. The only issue is this deck struggles a little bit with consistency. So we'll get a few just test hands. We won't actually play them out, but... Well, well that's full combo already. But again, this doesn't really do anything. Uh, th all this really is is... Ponix, so... I mean, double hand trap, cool. But, you know, all that really is, was is Ponix. Uh, Barrel doesn't really do anything on our own, so... Alright, well this is really janky, but uh, it does get there. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we can go like FK, pot, ugh. that's just a Fire King hand. Again, we're not like going to play these hands out, but I'm showing you what I mean. It's kind of iffy on the consistency, but it's super fun. And... Uh, the Leerless make it very fun. That's super annoying, but that's awesome. That's like the classic bird up hand. If you get drilled, you're cooked alive, but just don't get, just don't get drilled, loser. Yeah, special, special activate. I think here we honestly go that. Overlay, search for Sapphire. Special, activate, activate. Yep, we overlay, search for barrel. We got combo. Yeah, man, like I said, it's a, it's a fun little deck. It really achieves what it wants to, when it wants to. And when it doesn't want to, then uh, you either make Zeus or you die. So, you live by a sword. You die by the sword. 
Uh, deck's fine. With normal, special, search ponics. No, <laughs> it doesn't even work. Yeah, total brick city. Cool. Um, deck's fine. Definitely, like I said, struggles with some consistency. Extremely fun, though. I didn't really brick that much, like, to where it was a problem. Obviously, I won the mat. Um, and as you can see, the virus in my office has taken over. I've been sick and I've been selling video games, so it's a deadly concoction, I guess, for the people. Here is the mat, the aforementioned one mat for the people that stayed around to the end. Um, there you go. Tetsu and Yusei. The Fire Kings. So yeah, that's the deck, man. Thank y'all so much for watching. I, I have been Big Switch from Banished for Cost. I will be keeping this map forever. I love it. Um, y'all are amazing. I am glad to be over my sickness. Uh, again, I've been liquidating a bunch of my video games, trying to make get some money up. So give your boy a subscribe. Give your boy some algorithmic love. I'm really needing <laughs> the support right now. Um, yeah, no, much appreciated as always, y'all. Thank y'all again. Peace. Thank you, Norman. <laughs> Thank you, Norman. <laughs> yeah. You go, kitty. Peace. The heck out. <laughs>